All right, hello, geometry students, and welcome to online learning. Thanks for tuning in to Mrs. Dodge's YouTube channel. Um, this is uh, what we would have done on Friday had we actually done a class on Friday instead of goodbye for the next six weeks. So this is what the notes will look like for the next six weeks. You can find a link to today's Flipgrid, so the question of the day, my answer's already on there. Uh, today's YouTube lesson is at that link, which if you're watching this, you've already found it, but in case you're checking the notes every day, you can find the link there. And then there will be an entry task just as usual. So you should have your notebook uh, or paper of some sort with you every time you watch these videos. And you're gonna be writing everything down that I write down. You're gonna be taking notes as usual. So let's get right into it. There's your entry task. Answer the question if you want to. And the entry task is to find the value of x. So I encourage you to pause the video and try that problem on your own and then unpause it and I'm going to be doing it with you. So find the value of x. This is our right triangle similarity theorem coming at us again. So, the first thing I notice is that this is going to be really hard to redraw all of my triangles if I don't have some sort of labels on there. So I, I'm going to zoom out apparently, and then I'm going to label the corners of my triangle with A, B, and C. That way it's going to make everything easier to redraw for me. So now, here's the first triangle that we have. We have A... B, C, and let's see, can I do different colors here? Oh my goodness, isn't this fantastic? This is going to be another one of my triangles. So the red triangle, we know that that's our right angle because right angles always come in linear pairs. And then, oh, we gotta, we gotta label this point then, we gotta, we'll call it D. Okay, so we have D at our right angle, and the short side is AD, and that makes this C. Okay, all right, next. Blue, we'll make it blue. This triangle over here will be blue. So we have another triangle, the blue one. And if you remember, do I actually even need the blue triangle? Technically, I might not even need the blue triangle, but uh, but we're going to get our practice in. So D and B and C. Yes. Yes, that feels good. All right, and now I have to add in all of my side lengths. So AB a, is 5.8 meters, so AB is 5.8 meters. I don't see any other A, B's on here, so I'll move to B, C. B, C is 3.5 feet. So anywhere I see a B, C will be 3.5. Oh, did I say meters? I meant feet. You know what I mean. Feet, 3.5 feet, 3.5 feet. Okay. D, C is X. DC, those are the only DCs I see. <laughs> I see, there's no IC in here. Okay, AC is 4.6 feet, so this is 4.6. AC, that's a 4.6, and that looks like all we got. Let's see. A little too crowded in here. All right. Now, uh, we can use any triangles we want. We should use the black triangle because we have all the information there, and then we can use whichever triangle we want for the other. Do we want the blue or do we want the red? You choose for yourself, or you already chose because you already did this problem. I'm going to do the black triangle on the top, and I'll do the red one. Why not? Okay. So now, let's see. Uh, I'm going to do the hypotenuse here, and then I'll do the uh, the bottom side on the other ratio. So the ratio of the hypotenuses is 5.8 for the black triangle, and 4.6 for the red triangle, and the bottom is 4.6 
for the uh, black triangle and 3.5 for the, oh, not 3.5, oh my goodness, is X. The bottom is X for the red triangle. And now we take our handy dandy calculator, which we totally prepared in advance. I did not, so we're going to use Google's. And we're going to, we're going to do, we're going to do our butterflies. Make your butterfly so we get 5.8x is equal to whatever 4.6 times 4.6 is. Let's see what Google says, 4.6 times 4.6. Why are all these decimals always so ugly? I don't know. Only the curriculum can tell us. Okay, get the x by itself. Divide by 5.8 on both sides, and if we divide that number by 5.8, we get, you know, round to two decimal places, we get 3.65, roughly, roughly. What are our units? Feet. We almost forgot. Feet. Alrighty. Woohoo! So there was our entry task for today. Hopefully you remembered how to use the right triangle similarity theorem. Um, yes, our, our learning target and success criteria for today, or what would have been for Friday. I know what I need to know for my celebration of learning on Monday, and you have asked all your questions and are ready to celebrate your learning on Monday. So, jokes on us, we didn't have the quiz on Monday, and we will not have a graded quiz um, for this section of chapter 9, but uh, you're going to have a practice test for homework, and I'm going to give you, in the notes for tomorrow, there will be a quiz. Um, it's not graded like a quiz, but it's going to be uh, basically what the quiz would have been, so that you can take it and see how you would have done. And, uh, hey, if you do it, I'll give you homework points for it. Well, I'll give you homework points for everything we do when we get back if you actually do homework like you were supposed to. So raise that grade, raise that grade. Okay. Oh yes, the agenda. Uh, we did the entry task. Good things, good things. Uh, maybe we should do a flip grid. I'll do a flip grid for good things too, so you can share good things if you want. Um, good things, or any good things for me? Well, I finally figured out how to how to do the slides on YouTube. It took me like all of this morning and even sometime yesterday figuring out how this would work. Uh, went to the store today because I needed groceries, not because I'm a crazy hoarder. And uh, I it was it was not super difficult to get groceries. I thought there was going to be swarms of crazy people running for toilet paper, but there weren't. Uh, so that that's a good thing. Uh, yeah. And, uh, oh, feel free to comment your good things below. Oh my goodness. This is, uh, weird, weird to be a content creator now. But yeah, comment your good things below if you have any. We're going to go over what you would need to know for the quiz, some examples, and then, uh, I'm going to show you the practice quiz. You're going to hop on the Google Classroom and do that practice quiz. The video tomorrow will be me doing the practice quiz, and then there will be a link to the actual quiz if you want to do it. Remember quiz, because I'm not grading it like a quiz, but if you want to do it, I will give you the points for it. Um, okay, so what do you need to know? Remember last Tuesday we went over the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, if you have a right triangle. The converse of the Pythagorean theorem, if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then I have a right triangle. On Wednesday, we talked about special right triangles, the 30-60-90 triangle, the 45-45-90, and the special relationships between their sides. On Thursday, we did the right triangle similarity theorem. If you need a refresher on any of these things, hey, there are slides on the Google Classroom for you to do that. And who knows, maybe I'll upload videos of... Maybe, I don't know, I'm going to be cooped up here for six weeks, so maybe I'll just record videos of every single PowerPoint ever from the history of this year so that you can go back and look at anything that you want to. You should be able to solve problems using all of these concepts. If you truly learned what we were supposed to, you should be able to solve problems using all of these concepts.
and on the quiz there will be all of these concepts yes indeed okay examples 9.1 was our pythagorean theorem here is an example uh, i'm not going to go over it because all the steps are right there should you want to take a look at them um 9.2 special right triangles this is a 45 45 90 remember we also talked about 30 60 90 uh, and if you need a refresher on that go back to our slides from wednesday of last week 9.3 was the similar right triangles identify similar triangles find the value of x remember to redraw the triangles redraw the triangles uh yeah, if you're a superhuman and you don't need to, um, good for you. But I am not a superhuman, and I, uh, I need to redraw them. Helps me. So if you need to redraw them, you do that too. Um, yes. Oh, questions. <laughs> Remember that if you have questions, you should post them in the Google Classroom so that I can answer them for everybody to see. Or, uh comment live chat during my live streams my class live streams which will be i think the first one will be at noon today eleven thirty today depends on how long it takes me to record the algebra lesson <laughs> um but yes if you have questions make sure that you contact me in some way whether it be through youtube or google classroom or email so anything like that please 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 if you have questions i want to answer them don't get behind during this crazy time of weird home schooling and then this is your practice quiz there will be a video of me going over this i will do a video where i do every problem and explain my thought process um but that is your homework homework as in it will be due when we come back and you need to be doing everything this is not a six-week vacation. Please don't turn it into a six-week vacation. Okay. And your launch for today. The challenge is not to be perfect. It is to be whole. You will never be perfect. Perfection is unattainable. Um, but to be whole uh, means to be satisfied with yourself and to feel whole. And to be healthy all around, physically, emotionally, mentally. Um, so... But your challenge, your challenge for life is to be whole, not to be perfect. Uh, and remember that there are people that love you, no matter if you're perfect or not. So, uh, thanks for tuning into the video. Um, there will be more. There will be many more videos. Uh, yes. The video for tomorrow will be me going over this practice quiz and showing you where the quiz is, should you want to take it. Which you should. Alrighty, thanks for tuning in. This has been Geometry with Mrs. Dodge. Woohoo!